What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just sharing my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, I'm going thrifting. I had no intentions of thrifting today. Honestly, I've been doing a lot of thrifting lately and I don't need to go. I need to do the opposite and declutter. I know I've been talking about it a long time. I haven't done it. I know. I know. Okay. But here's the deal. Today, I live in Northern California. We are in a really high area that's likelihood for fires, especially at the end of summer. And there's a huge fire going on. It's not close to where I live, but I mean, within like an hour. Um, but the smoke has been where I live. Uh, we are at a BMI of over 500. So Everett and I were like, this is yucky. This is terrible. We can't breathe air purifier on for the dogs at the house i have like three of them um but we wanted to leave today so we jetted down the hill and the air is actually i mean it looks like crap it looks terrible out there but it doesn't smell terrible i'm only thrifting today just because we were trying to get out of the house and i couldn't couldn't stand the smokiness at home so here we are <laughs> thrifty bargain i've been to bargain world a lot lately so i haven't been to thrifty bargain in a few weeks yeah hopefully i don't get a lot because i really don't need a lot really into accessories lately so i feel like i'll definitely look at that kind of like jewelry hats shoes but you guys know me i just find whatever i find <laughs> okay i did find this cute little coach wallet right here pretty cute fall vibes i recently got a super cute Dooney and Burke that like kind of goes with the same vibes and this is only three dollars so I'm gonna think about that. I know that like this style has been really in lately. I would really dig these if they had a square toe. I'm not really into the round toe so much plus they're not my size. Cute but not my size. Oh I have some of these shoes and I love them. I love these sandals. I have them in other colors and I like the square toe too, but I don't need them. Those are kind of a vibe. Cute. So far, nothing I need in shoes. This remind me of the really popular um, Adidas Samba, or the Sambas that are really big right now. Same vibes. Oh, not my size. These aren't my size, but if they were, I'd probably be into them. Bummer. I also saw these, these are cute too. But I never wear that heel, but I love that toe, that's cute. 25% off of $4. Since they're my size, I'll try them on later. All right, I'm gonna come back and look at the dresses. They have tons of dresses here. But first, I'm gonna look at the purses. I like the color of this one. Kind of fun. Tommy Hilfiger. But it's $9. I feel like it's a little expensive. It's strangely quiet in here for a weekend. Usually when I come here on the weekends, it's like crazy in here. And it's really quiet. It's interesting. Oh, here's another bag in that same color. This one's cute too. It's $8.99, but it's 25% off. Verapel. I'm gonna look it up. Let's do a Google. <laughs> All right, so they sell anywhere from like 60 to like $115 used. I can't find the exact same one though, so we'll think about it. Oh, some of them sell on Poshmark for like $25 too. But it is Italian leather, so we'll think about it. 
Would you look at that? Look at this. this is one of those big chunky knit um, blankets for seven dollars. I mean, I don't love that like peachy color, but I feel like it could be cute. I'm grabbing it. We're putting it in the cart. <laughs> I'm over in dresses and I'm thinking I do have another wedding to go to in December. It is in LA, so it's not like gonna be freezing, but it is a winter wedding. Um, yeah, that's the only thing on my mind as far as dresses go. But I have just, I've also been really into maxi dresses and wearing like sweaters and stuff layering on top or over them. So it's kind of where my mind's at. This dress is kind of cute. I never wear off the shoulder dresses though, but I do like that. That's cute. If it wasn't off the shoulder, I'd probably try it on. I kind of like the print on this dress. It's um, Lady Hathaway, although it looks like it could be a little big. I wish it was maxi or mini too. Like I don't love the length of it, but I really like the print. It's really fun and funky. I like that it kind of like grabs right here. I don't like that midi length right at my knee though. I found this dress that I think is really pretty, maybe for the wedding. It's green, it has like a high slit on one side. The only problem is, is it has some little stains and I can't tell if they're the kind of stains that I could get out potentially or not. How much is this dress though? It's my size. I feel like it would look really more think about it. Oh no, my camera's dying. No, 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 no. You guys, I'm finding a lot and my camera is dying. I'm so mad. Hello, surprise. I have different colored hair. I go over this in, I think the next video that I filmed, um, but I forgot I didn't do a try on for this video. So here I am from the future with my new hair. I am having fun being kind of like a coppery strawberry blonde. So I got some cute things that day. I'm sorry my camera died. That thrift store actually does have a dressing room, and I like to do the dressing room try-ons with you guys, but unfortunately, I didn't realize that my camera was basically dead, so I'm sorry. You guys know I've been so obsessed with the bucket hats, especially the furry ones, especially when they're an affordable price. This one was $2. I think it's cute, sassy, funny, like $2, totally worth it, even if I just wear it a few times. I think it's adorable. I'll be going into my collection of bucket hats. You guys, I was thinking about maybe doing like my thrifted collection of different things like my thrifted purse collection my thrifted hat collection my thrifted belt collection and showing you guys like my favorites in each category and then that way it's still thrift related and you guys can see some of like the things that i have but i don't have to go shopping and i feel like i don't know i wonder if you guys would like that so yeah this is going into my thrifted bucket hat collection <laughs> I found these. These were only $2 and I think that they're so cute. They're kind of like a sheer wide leg pant. They're almost in like this zebra print or tiger print of sorts. I feel like these would be cute with a bikini or like pool kind of loungy wear since they're see-through. The brand is Hearts, Heart Soul. Or even if you go on vacation and they have like a hot tub or something and you could like bring your little like pool wear, you know? Okay, I've been really wanting to wear this dress, so I'm glad to haul it now so that I can wear it. It's super cute and I love the colors. It's this maxi dress. I have been looking for maxis and it's kind of in this fun plaid. It's just Mossimo from like Target, Mossimo. V neck right there and then I just really liked the colors together. I thought it was really fun. And I've been really liking the look of girls wearing sweaters over long maxi skirts and dresses so I figured that that's what I do with this like I could wear this late into fall would it look good with my new hair color I think so oh I liked this too this was cute it's just this orange mini skirt it's kind of like a sporty slick material it's from BW sport and it kind of like wraps around and ties and then velcros again kind of like a swim type skirt or something got that for $3.99 
Okay, I got this cute little set. Well, I created the set, but they go together well, the colors. And it is this pair of tie-dye pants right here. I think these are just from Target. Very comfortable. They were only $3.99. And then I found this Lulu lemon top, which was awesome. And it's like the same color of sage green, so even better. It's not my size, it's big, but I'll just probably wear it loose. And if I don't wear it, I'll just give it to somebody that will. It was $2.99. I never find Lulu lemon at the thrift. It would be cute for the gym, like in the winter time, I imagine. Did end up getting the turquoise dress. I'll go get it for you right now. Number one, comment down below. If you made it to this far in the video, what would you call this color? Like, obviously it's green, but like what shade of green? It's not seafoam green. It's not emerald green. It's very pretty though. And yeah, I got the stain out, which was so exciting. I thought maybe it was like an oil stain. So I was like, ooh, I don't know if it's gonna come out, but it came out perfectly fine. Very easy to come out. And it was definitely worth the risk. It's from the brand Luxel. And I am going to wear it to that wedding, I'm pretty sure. I will put a photo of Everett's tux color. He is a groomsman. It's going to be this color, and then this is my dress. Do you think that those clash, or do you think that they go together? I feel like they kind of go together. Um, so yeah, I think this is what I'll be wearing, which is exciting, because I thought it was a beautiful dress. What color shoes with this? Like, what color accessories? Gold? Silver? Silver? Gold? I don't know. Tan? Beige? What accessories go with this color? I need help. Sorry if you guys can hear, um, Everett and our neighbors are in a band together and they're practicing, which is like outside of the window that I'm currently filming at. So if you hear some noise, that's him. Okay, I got this. Uh, this was from Cotton Emporium. It was $2.99. Just a stretchy sweater. Sweater knit. I like stripes and I like kind of like these form fitting little sweaters. So that'll be great with anything. This was the last clothing item. I got a bomber jacket from Nasty Gal. It's that really popular green that's been going for a while now. Everett says he doesn't think this is called a bomber jacket and he would call this a baseball jacket. And I was like, I'm pretty sure that this is a bomber jacket. Like I know that it doesn't have any of the patches and stuff, but he says he thinks of bomber jackets as being those leather ones, kind of like the aviator ones. I was like, I'm pretty sure this is a bomber jacket, which I've been really in for fall this year. Uh, if you guys want me to do the fall tr trend predictions, I've seen so many of the trends, like the silver shoes or just like silver and metallic accessories at the thrift. And yeah, this was great. I don't remember how much I paid for it because I don't see the price tag, but it's oversized too. And I feel like the oversized ones, like, I feel like that is trendy to have the oversized bomber. I also ended up getting that blanket for like six or seven dollars. Tegan loves it, although I will say that like I think that someone made it themselves and so the knit or like the material of the blanket is kind of like soft and fluffy and my dog Tegan she has been loving it. The weather is starting to get a little colder here and she's been nestled up in it and it's kind of like getting a little, not ruined, but like frayed, the material. So that's a slightly sad, but she's still liking it. So I'm letting her just enjoy the little blanket even though it's getting messed up because she deserves to just nestle up in it. 